Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs says the state of the county is strong. Right now, she is wrapping up her final state of the county address following eight years in office. Channelize Michael Aparty just stepped out of the Dr. Phillips Center where she is speaking right now. And Michael, the mayor talked about some of the biggest challenges she's faced while in office. Greg, the mayor even got emotional today when she started talking about the pulse attack and the 49 people who lost their lives that day. This speech had all the pomp and circumstance for a final address. She talked about the budget, the economy, stuff like that. But it was when she started talking about the challenging events for our community that it really seemed to stand out for the people who were in attendance. And that includes two back-to-back -back hurricanes, both Maria and Irma. And they had different impacts on our community. One brought thousands of evacuees here. The other caused damage to the area. But as I mentioned, the mayor seemed to be most passionate when talking about Pulse. In fact, she stopped at one point as the faces and names of the victims were played on screen. She called the moment a nightmare that none of us could have ever imagined and said there's really no way to sum up the tragedy except for the way the community reacted. But just as overwhelming as that loss was, the response of our community was equally overwhelming. Never would I have imagined the outpouring of love and unity or the depth of our strength and resilience. As a community, we share a commitment to make sure that the world never forgets our 49 Pulse Angels. Now, as I was in the room, the mayor did not mention any of her plans to run for chair of the school board, but her speech today did touch on topics like today's school shooting, uh, school safety, and mental health for children. She wrapped up her address by saying working with people in this community has been the privilege of a lifetime. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.